Okay. So, uh, I realized recently I checked my YouTube channel. And I found out that I haven't dropped or uploaded a video for almost two months. Well, actually a little more than two months. And I wasn't going to make a video, but uh, I thought I'll make one on the spur of the moment because I drank one cup of mug oh, latte. Uh, which I make, but I drank it today, just a few minutes ago, so I, feel, I guess I'm feeling a bit more uh, energetic. Because believe it or not, I stopped drinking coffee for the past 30 days. No caffeine. And actually, prior to that, I actually, um... <laughs> I stopped taking my meds. Uh, I don't know. Yes, that's right. So I've been on medication, antidepressants, uh, anti anxiety, antidepressants, and a mood stabilizer for many years now. And uh, my estimate is that, so I was taking this medication called Fixer XR. Well, I've been taking 150 milligrams for almost, almost 10 or more years. Because I think, because I, I was on medication before I started transitioning and so that was 2014, so because I saw my, I was seeing my psychiatrist. So 2013, so that would have been like 10 years, right? But I was on and, on and off at least two times before that in my early to mid 20s. I was on medication. I was using that drug, I think. So that's an anti uh, depressant. This is an antidepressant. Anti-anxiety medication. So I've been on that for like um, ten years, Con you know, consistently. You know, like one long stretch. I think I start had different dosages. At one point, I was taking three hundred milligrams, but then I went down to so one hundred fifty milligrams is what I was mainly on most of this time. The overwhelming majority. And recently, I also started taking another drug. Not recently means maybe uh, three, four years. I don't know the exact. I can't. <sighs> My memory is not that good. And so the other thing, this these medications can affect your memory and all that. So I was on this for maybe for three or four years. Uh, yeah, more than a few years. So that was I was taking that. This is like a this is actually an anti epileptic medication, but it also has a it's like a mood stabilizer. Americans use Z, I think. But anyway, um, so around uh, I even so around the um, on the twenty seventh of October. 2023, like uh, more than a month ago, I stopped taking my medication on the 27th of October. I went cold turkey. I went cold turkey. <laughs> uh, with both the Effixa and uh, the Helamexel. And uh, I think a few days after that, I also, uh, a few days, maybe, like I, um, on the, uh, 
I have my note on the, on the 30th of October. The 30th of October, I stopped caffeine. I was I was drinking coffee for. I'll have only once once a day. I can't have more than that. It's too much for me. Uh, so that would have been also been I've been using coffee for also around let's say nine years. So after drinking for about nine years, maybe. So I stopped it all. I went cold turkey on all of them. It wasn't planned. Uh, initially, like a week before I stopped taking my medication, I actually reduced the dosage of the Lamictal from 200 to 100 milligrams. And all of this was precipitated because I wanted to, because I was feeling very anxious to leave my house and go and see the doctor. And when I tried to make an, uh, an appointment to see my GP, it, uh, I, was, I found out that he wasn't going to be available until November, around the first week of November. So this would have been around, you know, it's so like around October, like mid October, right? Yeah. I don't know when it was, maybe it was not more, maybe it was more than November. I don't know. Anyway, so I was trying to make an appointment with a GP, but then I found out that my GP um, wasn't going to be available. So, so what I had, I had my prescription was running out. And I needed to get those refills. So I had like a month's prescription of the Effexor. And I take one pill a day. So that will have been like 30 days. So my plan was like, okay, so I can't make an... And I didn't want to see another doctor because I don't want to go and tell them, okay, I want to reduce my... Because my plan was to reduce it by tapering it off. Like maybe you like go from 150 to 75 milligrams and 37.5 milligrams, which is an easier way to do it. But... Uh, so I try to do the tapering off method by taking one medication one one day and then waiting, doing it alternate alternate days, like take one once a day, then go off of it and not take it the next day and then then the day after that. But once I started doing that, like so, I I I took a medication. I remember to I took a medication and I went for, uh, without taking the medication for a few days. And I started feeling a bit off. You know, the the bits were all oh, horrible. Uh, I don't know. I just said, you know, this is this way taking too long. And I don't know. So I just said, forget it. I'm just going to go cold turkey. And that's what I did. I'm 27. I went cold turkey. And then the first two to three weeks were horrible. Um, it is like one of the most horrible things you can go through. Well, it, probably not the worst thing, but it is very bad. You have to you have to check this thing called antidepressant withdrawal syndrome. You can Google that. It's like a, it's very difficult to come off of medication, especially if you go cold turkey. It's really like a um. It's a shock to your system, and you know, it's really one of those bad symptoms. <laughs> so, uh, so I decided to do everything go off the meds, cold turkey, just off the caffeine, cold turkey. You know, stopping the meds after 10 years, it's really difficult, you know, but I managed to pull myself through that, and I'm kind of proud that I stuck through it. So, yeah, and another thing, uh, as a result of this, uh, some positive things, that I've been like fasting for about 20 to 21 hours a day. Uh, you know, only drink water during this time. Because, uh, be because uh, you know, I, I would only eat my meals in the evening. So, you know, like... For instance, today I ate my meals and you know 
I mean, I've been keeping all these notes and these, <laughs> so I'm kind of, you know, counting my uh, stopwatch running. Okay, when I start eating my meal, how long does it take to finish it? So, so you know, so less about three hours was a, is a, is a, like a so it is intermittent fasting. So I would fast for like 20, 21 hours a day, and I would eat within this three to four hour period. Yeah, so that's very good because I think fasting is good for your uh, system. So that's a positive uh, benefit of of this thing I did. Uh, because otherwise, my previous routine would be to get up, you know, dr eat you know, my breakfast, which is bread and stuff, and then drink my coffee, and then a few hours later, I would, you know, if I managed to make my veggie stew, I would make it. So, yeah, I went on my medication. It was really difficult in the first two to three weeks. And it's still like a, there's a lot of uh, getting over the physical withdrawal symptoms, you know, like nausea and, you know, feeling very tired, getting those brain zaps. <laughs> brain zaps, nausea, very, like flu-like symptoms. You know, your body is all tired. It's it's really difficult. Um, yeah, you can even feel very depressed, actually. It is very dark and depressing. You, you can feel like it's really, really difficult. Uh, but I still have emotional... I'm still very emotionally... You know, this is what called emotional ability. This is uh, something I'm still dealing with. I still get very triggered very easily. And I'm also having problems forgetting. Like yesterday I was making my veggies too and I forgot to put the uh, water. When I start, when I cooked the vegetables, I forgot to put the water in it. That's because I, I can get very emotionally affected and I get go on to this, this triggered kind of feelings that I fully forgot what I was doing. Um... But why did I do this? So why? Because I think medications are toxic. Uh, it has to do with the f <laughs> since I've, since the whole UFO disclosure, I've been doing a lot of research and evaluation, and I feel like the pharmaceutical industry is there to keep you hooked on their drugs so they can make a profit i feel like these uh antidepressants are there to get people addicted you see how addictive this medication is it's so difficult to get off of it people uh they try to get off of it the symptoms are so bad that they end up not getting off of it and and, and apparently these medications are some of the highest uh profit makers for these pharmaceutical companies so and i also feel like our body has the capacity to heal itself or uh anyway i don't want to go too much in that but i did it yes i did but i wanted to do it i wanted to get off the medications and you know do like try and take care of my mental health using more natural methods like meditation and and you know getting out into the sun you know sunlight therapy because uh, i've been trying to do that but i sort of been neglecting it recently but uh you know and this whole thing about you know we are made up we are made of electromagnetism you know the planet is one big electromagnetic Field and if you ground yourself, you can heal your body. So there, so these interest in alternative methods of healing, the idea that the pharmaceutical industry is just trying to make a profit and that they might be creating medications that are very toxic. And I and I heard and I read this quote from a doctor who said something like. If you want to live a long and healthy life, try to stay away from seeing doctors or taking meds or going to the hospital for as long as you can. 
so inspired by those uh, insights and prompted by my inability or difficulty with obtaining a prescription it sort of happened i didn't plan on going cold turkey i wanted to reduce my medication over maybe a few months but one thing led to another and i ended up cutting my meds cold turkey and uh yeah so today yeah i mean i didn't i wasn't drinking coffee for almost a month like 30 days exactly so that today i had one 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 soy latte <laughs> i don't know if i will drink take coffee to depends on how i feel tomorrow if i feel bad then i'm like i don't know um i don't know if i want to because i don't think coffee is really good either so yeah so i it is a challenge uh you know trying to you know because i still have problems with my emotions i can get very very angry very quickly and uh so i do need to work on those things um and i'm but i feel like i said you know some people who have been on effexor for years they say that getting off of this medication sometimes takes years actually for your brain to sort of get better so i'm only like one month after quitting them so it's gonna obviously take a lot more time um so yeah so I went off my I went off my meds and I feel okay. It's a challenge. Uh, you know, I do speak to uh, my psychosocial coach. I have a psychosocial coach, and also a uh, counselor. So I'm I'm not all isolated by myself. I do have at least two people who I communicate with on a therapeutic level who are aware of what I'm going through and uh, yeah so I don't know I thought I'd just make this video I haven't made a video in a while so I thought I was planning on making a video at the four week mark but anyway here it is <laughs> 